This is just showing off one of the apps I'm working on at the moment. So um, basically as a musician, we really like to be able to track our progress with like scales, arpeggios, exercises, stuff like that. So I thought it'd be really useful to have a really clean, simple, um, very focused kind of app to help musicians track this sort of stuff and the kind of stuff you really want to track. So like um, BPM for different scales, things like that. Maybe today I do it at 100 BPM, I practice tomorrow and I've gone up to like 105. So I'll be able to track my sort of average, which I need to work out the, or not work out, but just sort out the rounding on this uh, for now, but we can kind of track averages and our top BPM and stuff like that basically. So each one of these uh, exercise cards in the workouts is basically being dynamically filled. So we have like four each that's looping over um, a bunch of exercises and their information, the view model up here. So it's looping over uh, all of these, I think. Um, it's whether that's working and sort of like rendering out all of the different cards then, um, which is quite nice. And then tracking the data back um, to kind of fill out uh, like an array of BPMs and dates and stuff like that that we'll be able to use later on. You'll see how. So that's what this is kind of doing as a workout page is tracking people's progress, different scales, exercises, stuff like that is the plan. Daily is um, the idea of like presenting a random exercise uh scale an arpeggio to practice that day you know register your bpm ticket and then this will convert some nice like completed graphic or something like that um, and building up all this kind of data to then have a dashboard page that this is what i would have absolutely loved as like when i was learning um kind of uh, musical instruments is being able to um so i've got here sort of basically like have some line graphs tracking progress over time um, and then like the build up for the daily streak and stuff like that, you know, like committing to practicing certain things every day. Because that's one of the things you're trying to get through to students. It's like you need to practice these things like every single day. So that's the idea of this is to try and push them to actually practice these things every day and randomize it. So you're practicing something different every day as well. So there was some kind of real world thought behind the app. Um, so yeah, so like everything's being dynamically filled. I'm trying to build it out like that. We've got view model where it's kind of calling functions and things like that to um, change the model. Eventually, this is going to be, I'm going to try, I'm trying to figure out where to store it in app storage, but it might be a bit much, to be honest, even though it's just like data, like numbers, um, or I'm probably going to have to use core data basically to store this stuff um, in on the, on the device. Um, and that's about it at the minute. So that's where I'm going with it. I'm not too sure about the colors. I think I'm going to change them. Um, but the kind of layout's about right, I think, as to what I want it to look like. Um, but yeah, not happy with the colors at the minute. So I'll do another video updating when I get a bit further with it.